Um, welcome. Uh, we are solving advent of code uh, day seven right now. Uh, the last that's available to us here. Let's see. Hope screen is still not frozen. Seems not. You hear birds creeping, chirping, and raindrops hitting leaves. The expedition proceeds. Occasionally, you can even hear much louder sounds in the distance. How big do the animals get out of here? Anyway, the device the elves gave you has problems with more than just its communication system. You tried to run a system update. System. Okay, no space left on device. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, perhaps you can delete some files. Yeah, let's delete some files. Rm slash minus rf dash rf. Whereas uh, station saves the result in terminal input, your puzzle input. Okay, so I guess it's the file system consists of a tree of files, plain data, and directories, which can contain or other. Uh, uh, first of all, let's copy this, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, consists of tree of files, plain data, and directories, uh, which can contain other directories or files. The outermost directory is called slash. You can navigate around the file system moving into or out of directories and listing the contents of the directory you're currently in. Within the terminal output, uh, lines that begin with dollar commands you execute it very much like some modern computers. Modern. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, CD means change directory, it changes with directory, which directory is current directory, but specific result depends on arguments. CD X moves in one level, moves out one level. Uh, CD slash switch the current directory is out of directory. LS means list, it prints out all the files and directories immediately contained by the current. One, two, three means uh, dear, means dear. Okay, using the command output in the example above, you can determine that the file system looks visually like this. Here we are, there are four directories, slash, the outermost directory, A and D, which are in slash, and E, which is in A. These directories also contain files of various sizes. Since the disk is full, your first step should probably be to find directories that are good candidates for deletion. To do this, you need to determine the total size of each directory. The total size of a directory is the sum of the size of the files they contain, directly or indirectly. Directories themselves don't count as having any interesting size. Uh, fantasy land, huh? Uh, the total size of directories above can be found as follows. Okay, I, I get how it goes. To begin, find all the directories within a total si with a total size of at most 100 kilobytes. Then calculate the sum of their total sizes. In the example above, these directories are A and E. Okay. Uh-huh. Wait, what? Uh-huh. The sum of the total sizes is... As in this example, this process can count files more than once. Find all of the directories which is the total size of at most 10, 100 kilobytes. What is the sum of totals? Okay, uh, weird, but I will allow it. I guess, and we need puzzle input, of course. Pam, 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 pam. Okay, so apparently we never move back to slash, right? So we can just skip it and assume we start with slash or not. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. So ls cda, it's actually interesting. It's interesting, it's interesting, it's interesting. How should we proceed? <sighs> okay, another one minute break.
I mean, like processing this is simple, right? But um, how should I store it? Yeah, I, I think I, I think I get it. Okay, yeah, let's let's do this. Um, we have REPL, and REPL seems to work. Well, this is basically lines data, right? So it's basically just lines. So data is data. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to loop uh, with line data, or we can do this actually. Uh, sizes uh, dear is nil uh, for example cont empty lines uh -huh. Well, I guess we can put this into parts. Let's call it process, right? So basically what it does is it builds a uh, directory structure, okay? Uh, if we Actually, cont plus is gonna be useful here. Uh, otherwise, line is first lines, okay? Um, dash uh, next, am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Uh, um, my screen is, is my screen frozen? My screen is frozen, right? Uh, I don't like tools that you cannot rely on. This is bad. But anyways, um, mm -hmm. okay. Where was I? Um, like here. So basically we have commons CD and commons LS, right? Uh, or we have like output like this. So if it's dollar CD, slash, Okay, uh, if it's cd slash, uh, we just uh, record lines sizes there. Okay, so, well, dear is empty vector basically. Okay, uh, now um, it's actually like this. If it's like this, then we do this. Uh, pop gear, right? So remove the last one from directory. Okay, if it is matches dollar CD, uh, well, basically like this. directory name, right? Um, how do I... Yeah, the problem is I don't have this, actually. Yeah, 
You know what? You know what? Uh, let's change it. Maybe I should uh, expand cont plus with uh, something, but um, like this, and finally like this. Um, it's gonna be. What's the result of an? I think it's something like the D, like Recall even work in this case. It wouldn't, right? Or would it? Huh. Yeah, it wouldn't. Oh, huh. so cont p doesn't save us. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> then we are gonna be just doing as we were doing it. Maybe it's the best. Uh, it's a shame that we have to parse twice, but um, yeah, whatever. All right. Maybe we'll figure out something in there. Um, if it's. Wait, what's deer? Ah, oh, okay, deer A. So if it's deer, we ignore it. If it's dollar LS. We just uh, ignore it, right? Ah, oh, it's dear something actually. Well, no, okay, so um, the only other thing that matters is slash d plus, right? Um, I see some files are also, but these don't have dots in them, right? Let's see. So, uh, so it's basically like slash d slash v slash d uh, slash v or dot plus. Kind of like this, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Size name. Size bars long size. Okay, and the trick that we need to do the here is we need to add the size to each directory we are in, right? 
I don't care about files really. Um, basically, what we want is sizes. Uh, Recur um, deer. Like we want to drop deer, go from, de from the last deer to the original deer. Uh, um, yeah, recur range count deer. <laughs> um, sizes. And here we are going to be to have um, being very tricky situation basically uh, update sizes drop last dear n right back uh, probably um, or like this, if you want. Plus size. Okay, this looks weird, but it should work actually. Yeah, this should look looks weird, but uh, what's that process data? Okay, process data can only recur from tail position. Yeah, because you know this wasn't supposed to be like this. Reduce. Okay, something uh, doesn't work, but first line and lines. Huh. Lines, sparse data, sizes, 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 sizes. Dear, 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 dear. Okay, so something doesn't work, but I'm not sure what. Uh, range reduce. Reduce doesn't work in here somewhere, right? still doesn't work okay um hmm.
Ah, oh, yeah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, no, this is, yeah, this is right. And we probably need... Uh, this to be like this. Okay, and uh, basically we have A, A slash E, and D, and yeah, okay. Let's add... Starting slash here, right? And basically, what we want to know in here is process walls filter bigger than this radius plus zero. Is it? No, this is wrong. I need, I need this, right? Is this 95 four, three, seven. yes and for this we get this number and that's the right answer yay okay 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 um, yeah hopefully this is self-explanatory <laughs> Uh, is this day seven? Yes, yeah, it's day seven, yeah. Okay, now you're ready to choose the directory to delete. The total disk space available for the size system is blah, blah, blah. To run the update, you need a new space of blah, blah, blah. You need to find the directory you can delete that will free up enough space to run the update. In the example above, the total size of the outermost directory and thus the total amount of your space is, which means that the size of your space must be Blah, blah, which isn't quite the trend of the right over the fold. And this requires a directory of the total size or at least to be delete before it can run. To achieve this, you can have following option. Uh, e, A, D, directories E and A are both too small. The exam would not free up enough space. Car directories D and slash are both big enough. Between this, the two smallest D increasing the space by find the smallest directory that if, that if deleted would free up enough space on the file system to run update. What is the total size of that directory? Okay, it's basically the same, but uh, we need um, yeah, but, but it's 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 kind of the same, right? Um, let uh, sizes uh, process data, right? Uh, then uh, root or taken uh, is sizes slash uh, free is minus this number taken required is basically this is how much space is free and we need this much free right let's just check that Oh, three, eight, three. Yeah, yeah. Seems seems correct. Okay, now uh, we know how much we need, right? Uh, what is the total size of the directory? Okay, so now we basically go we sort whales, whales, right? 
um, sizes walls sort so it's for small from smallest to highest then we drop while uh, it's smaller than required and then first basically seems correct seems, seems correct yay so this looks like a map of some trees mountains and river so it's it looks like a map right <sighs> How is our private leaderboard doing? We have 65 people. Where am I? I am on 39th place. Nice. Well, at least I'm consistent now. <laughs> yeah, but everybody's consistent. It's, it's probably the simplest you can be, be consistent. Some people joined, but never participated, which is also OK, of course. But not everybody has time. There is my competitor. He has the same name. Uh, it's actually if I just wake up one day and do one more day, I would also probably be pretty high up. Mm -hmm. Or getting into a habit of doing them early in the morning. Dmitry is in second place. Wow. He's doing it like 6 a.m. He's also in Berlin, probably doing 6 a.m. This, this guy is in America. He could be doing better. He's not trying hard enough. Uh, this guy's, I think, in Russia or moved from Russia recently. He was in Yekaterinburg, I think. But anyways, uh, yeah, we solved it. Wow, yay. Uh, <laughs> let's commit. Pavel Yegorov has a great solution for this seven task. Uh, I should check it. Uh, how, how, how do I check it? Yeah, please share it with me. Before I finish the stream, and we can do it on the stream. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty well. Kitchen up, kitchen up. Bam, 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 bam. I think I have a pretty nice solution as well. I don't know. It, it looks unreadable, of course, <laughs> this one. Uh, but you can do something like pass. Actually, we don't need deer. No, it's yeah, no, it's it's fine. Can you use Sublime plus Clarity that be used with Python as well? Yeah, somebody asked me today already. Not, not as it is, but you can implement something like that for Python, probably. And it will probably be easier than what I did for Sublime because uh, Sublime is plugin of, for Sublime are in Python, right? So it's probably you will have like Python parser and stuff like that that you need. Um, but what, what's about uh, Pavel Igorov solution? Let's I probably can find it myself. Oh yeah, it's here. Okay. All right, your sizes for each line lines. Uh, CD. Okay. Yeah, yeah, shit. It 
So basically, he uh, he like uses stack to calculate size and then pops it up. Yes, uh, I guess it works if you have yield, which we don't in closure. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand what he's doing. Yeah, probably, I uh, probably could do this with recursive functions or something like that in here. Probably, uh, I'm all just uh, always over concerning about like, you know, that like this, this, this could do. Hmm. No, I guess it can't. Like, can it go into the same directory twice? or something like that or not like yeah well the, basically what the, the thing i was concerned is like can you go into one directory then go up and explore something else completely and then go back and go into second directory in that directory if you can then th that probably wouldn't work but if you only walk into each directory once like depths first right right uh then it would work Right, so it's so like this solution assumes that it's always depth first. Like this, like this algorithm is depth first. It's not. Uh, but but it's probably it's probably generated like as depth first search. So yeah, and then it's like uh, looking at CD slash is. Uh, met only once like in theory you can do it multiple times in the middle right but uh, in practice it's only once in the top so yeah uh, but nice yeah it's it's reads probably better than mine but yeah it's wait I didn't commit it or what, what the fuck um Okay, let me define dear Since we didn't commit, I will, I'm going to recommit and I just want to make it a little bit nicer. Stage, amend, push with list. Okay, yeah, uh, I think that's it. Uh, three hours, four tasks, some fun, hopefully. Thanks for joining. Cheers, bye bye.